the crazy reason behind Romania's blonde hair and 1988 World Cup team. If you think Neymar and Messi are eccentric for bleaching their hair blonde, wait till you hear about Romania's 1998 World Cup team. Iconic, funny, and bizarre. These are the words to describe the Romania 1988 World Cup team. Not just because it was their last outing at the World Cup, but there were some seemingly silent facts that derailed the golden generation of Romania's national team. The Tricolory was one of the only four Europe national teams that took part in the inaugural FIFA World Cup in 1930. Along with that, Romania has qualified for seven total World Cup editions, the latest in 1998. Angel Jordanescu was the fortunate manager of the golden team era that included starts like midfielder Lilie Dumitrescu, striker Florin Raduchoyu, and starman Gheorghe Hadji, who won Romania Best Player for seven years. In 2003, the Romanian Football Federation named him the Golden Player, being their most outstanding player of the past 50 years. In a start study era, Romanian Hadji made a name as the 25th of the 100 greatest players of the 20th century. He entered the Ballon d'Or nomination six times and came closest to the award in 1984, behind Christo Stoichkov, Roberto Baggio, and Paolo Maldini. So, it made sense that he is the star of the 1994 team that traveled to the USA with the hope of returning with the World Cup trophy. And it almost happened, but 10 men Sweden held Romania to a 2 to draw before handyman a penalty shootout had break away from securing a semi-final tie with Brazil. Thanks to the strong showing in the USA in 94, Romania was back again in France 98, with the hope of doing something special. And yes, they did. Not about their performance in the World Cup, but the shock they gave the whole world. Croatia sent Romania packing from France after defeating them in the round of 16 stage. But a lot of people believed that it was meant to happen. According to their manager, they have angered God. Romania had a great start to the competition, claiming six points against England and Colombia to book a spot in the round of 16. They only needed a point to top the group and crucially avoid Argentina in the next round. But somehow, complacency had found a way into their heart, and you could tell by looking at their heads. 80,000 fans at the Stade de France in Paris, where you know, as 10 men wearing the Romanian color, came into the pitch with their heads blonde. They turned out to be the Romanian national team players because the evening before their game against Tunisia, the team invited local headdresses to bleach everyone's hair. Different teams have some sort of a speech orchestration that it's meant to inspire team spirit. For the Romanian 88 team, two days to their official kickoff against Colombia, they had a strategy meeting where they challenged their manager, Mr. Iodonescu, asking if he would be willing to shave his head if they qualified after two matches. He agreed, and since it has to be mutual, the whole team also decided that they would, in response, dye theirs too. Then, after beating Colombia and England, it was time for everyone to fulfill their part of the agreement, and that was what happened. After 20 years, striker Gheorghe Krajubianu recounted experience of how the bleach burned his scalp left bald patches on his head. He said in regret, they patched us. It was so painful I could only sleep on one side of my body for about three days. I think something strange happened after the headdresser wrapped a bit of foil around our heads. I was lucky because I had short hair at the time, so it didn't look that bad. But looking around at the guys with longer hair, like Lakatouche or Ilya Dumitrescu, that weird yellow color just didn't look right on them. I kept my hair like that for a while after the tournament, until it grew back to normal pretty quickly. You could see one or two players change hairstyles like underwear, one such as Paul Pogba. But no one expected to see a blonde Romania team after two games in the World Cup. Ilya Dumitrescu, the team's winger, explained that they did it in secret. Not even their families knew they had such plan. The operation was carried out after their final training session, and on returning to the hotel, everyone thought it was a different team. The only one not blonde was the goalkeeper probably because he had no hair to bleach. The field stadium seeing the players walk out of the dressing room was shocked, but the commentators needed to quickly get over theirs to handle the difficult task of distinguishing the players. 
such that when the team's intention to dye their hair was rumored at the hearing of Romanian national TV commentator Emil Gradinescu, he did not believe it. So, when the foreign commentators were caught in the confusion, even he could not bail them out. For the players, they had their own share of the self-inflicted confusion. They had bleached away their identities, such that they couldn't recognize each other on the pitch, except for the goalkeeper, who was bald. Gradinescu and a few others felt that the action took an unfortunate twist on them. He said, in terms of motivation, there was a bad idea that was badly executed. The players had slipped into their relaxed, holiday-like mood. We were lucky to draw against Tunisia. That's how badly we played. Then we embarrassed ourselves against Croatia. Over and over, consequent Romania players have been warmed by legends like Michel Platini, to abstain from such reckless action that derailed the golden generation if they desired to be successful again. Eventually, the team learned its lesson, but it appears as though the god of football has not forgiven Romania's national team, because 24 years have gone by and Romania is still waiting for the next opportunity to ride the run they did in France 98 and give their loyal fans a new song to sing. Football fans, can you think of a more absurd World Cup moment? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss a future video.